Tijawcast, uh, has this weather information here, Met Sierra, Tango and Zulu for Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Kansas, Ohio, Virginia, Mississippi, Alabama, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. They want high watch flight service. complex airport to taxi at. We're going to join the parallel. Go to the single runway. We're all leaving. Got a little rocky there. He was, he was the one who just took off. He's doing some pattern work, I guess. Tune traffic, twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie's on the parallel taxiway, taxi to 202. Twin Cessna taxi to 202, you guys in the theater on today? Yeah, we are. I was uh, hoping, I've never been here before, but there was a spot where I could get out of your way. Um, I don't know if you could do that intersection. That was just behind me. Yeah, oh, we'll take you out for 440, thank you. Thank you, sir. John Tune traffic, Air 88, Lima is close in right base, runway 20, uh, touch and go, runway 20, John Tune. The uh, citation said he's going to take the intersection. Yeah. yeah there's not a good, he would never have gotten past us down here. Ah, uh, no way. Didn't know, did not know. Kind of a newer, nicer airport, you would think they would have had a, uh, a front of pet. Yeah. We'll go on now on the runway. We're good. John June traffic, citation Niner Mike Romeo, departing the area to the northwest, uh, 2300 climbing, John Oh, that's them two right there? Yep. Tune traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie's taking 2 0 for a departure. We'll make a right turn out to the north. Tune traffic. Tune traffic, Cessna Kilo, 9 mile final, 2 0 tune. Alright, fuel pumps are on low. Gas is on the mains. Lined up for runway 2 0. And here we go. John Tune traffic, Arrow 8288 Lima, right base 2 0. Touch and go, John Tune. Full power, making full power. Fuel flows look good. Everything's in the green. Airspeed's alive. 80. 90. Rotate. John Tune traffic, arrow 8288 Lima, turning final 20, touch and go, John Tune. Up the brakes, gear coming up. Gotta open your vent, babe. Get past these and hills. Aircraft on the ILS inbound for 20. How far out are you? Six miles, 85 kilo two. Roger that, six miles. And uh, Skyhawk 4943 Delta is turning right base for 20. Drop in. Got dampers coming on. Two in traffic, twin size to one, Bravo Charlie is turning right crosswind, runway 20 will be departing the downwind uh, to the north for two. Delta is on uh, short final for 2 0. John 2. John 2 traffic, arrow 8288 Lima, upwind 2 0. John 2.
Two in traffic, twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie. It's about two miles southwest, climbing through to 2,100. Climbing up to 6,500, going to depart to the north. Two in traffic. Two in traffic, 85, Kilo, two mile final, number 220, two Two traffic, ROA 28, Lima, right crosswind, 20, John 6. I see them all. Uh-huh. Alright, we're gonna switch and get flight following. Nashville approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, VFR request off the tune. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Nashville uh, approach. They're climbing through 2700 just west of tune, looking for a VFR flight following up towards the north, towards Evansville. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, Roger. What type of Cessna was it and what altitude to Evansville? I'm sorry, we're climbing to 6,500 Cessna 310. Number 771, Bravo Charlie, squad 0745. 0745, 1 Bravo Charlie. Number 429er, Mike Romeo, contact Memphis Center, 133.85, good day. Good ball, pretty good here. Oh, Bravo here. 6385, have a good day, 9 Mike Romeo. 5 Bravo, uh, Bravo, fly a heading of 125, direct to Wayland, when able. Heading 125, direct Wayland, when able, 5 Bravo, Bravo. 771, Bravo, Charlie's radar contact, two miles north of the John Tune Airport, Altimeter 29907, I have to show you 3,500, climb via for your requested altitude, of course. One Bravo Charlie, Roger. 771 Bravo Charlie, traffic 11 o'clock and 3 miles southeast bound, indicating 3,600 and verified. One Bravo Charlie's looking for that traffic. What, what'd she say? 11 o'clock southeast bound, 3,500. 30, 200 feet below us. I'll just roll out Actually, right stand by for the IFR. There he is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can let her know we got him if you want. Well, Bravo Charlie has that traffic in sight. What do you think? Yeah, I just think we just need to go west around this weather. I don't... Because it's all thunderstorms that way. I think if we went west around it and went to CGI and then hooked back over, they're all reporting really good ceilings and visibility. I don't want to get in the clouds with these thunderstorms around. Duca right now is at 300 heading over that way. You see that stuff is getting taller over there. I'm going to do that. Just tell him, ask if we can go direct to Duca to go west around the weather. Or I can if you want. <coughs> Approach one, Bravo Charlie. Where we're call again. We were heading in the first place. I want Bob and Charlie just let you know. We're going to make a left turn here and head towards uh, Paducah. I want Bob and Charlie, um, Roger. So you're going to go via Paducah and then to Evansville, is that correct? Uh, we're going to cancel. Oh, let me talk to him. We're going to go uh, Paducah and then west over towards uh, CGI. Um, we're just trying to get around that Cape. Gerardo or whatever. We're trying to get around that weather that's that's up there, and I think that's going to be best to go west around it. All right. Now the, the flight plan that I had for uh, you guys was uh, John tuned to Evansville. Yeah, we're just changing it up now, sir. We're uh, eventually going to end up at Aurora, Illinois, outside of Chicago. Roger. So, what's your new destination for a fuel stop? Uh, no destination. We're just going to go over by Paducah and then CGI and then Mike, uh, maybe Paducah CGI direct to Aurora. And what the roars identify? Alpha Romeo Romeo. Roger, and you're going to maintain to 6,500? Yeah, we're going down now to 4,500 for weather. Uh, is that going to work for the air restricted airspace ahead? Affirmative, 4,500 reward. Thank you for your help, sir. Well, we've been really busy. Haven't had much of a chance to talk to anybody yet, but uh, we just finished our Nashville trip. It's been amazing. Well, uh, hopefully all the uh, video turns out. We have um, 
Actually, while we're talking here, I should uh, record the iPad stream for a bit so you guys can see where we're at. We were originally going to go towards Evansville to try to get east of that weather, but that weather's moving east and it slowed down a lot. Originally, we were going to go west around it, Paducah and over in. But then we saw how much it slowed down. We thought we could get four Romeo of contact, it. Nashville approach on one one hundred point three five. We started climbing up VFR there. I don't want to be IMC trying to Six dodge the storm. Left on course for Dyersburg. So, uh, and it's a pretty solid line. So, I want to stay VMC. We kept bumping up against some cloud layers. This route of flight, checking all the stations along this route, we're going to Paducah, then CGI, Cape Girardeau, and then hooking the corner around the weather. That gives us currently, uh, everybody's reporting really good ceilings, so that gives us the ability to uh, save VMC, which is why I did not file IFR for this flight, because I knew the weather was going to be a problem, to try to hook around the weather. And then, if we need to, we can uh, think about following IFR down the road once we're past all the convective weather. So that's where we're at. Now we're descending through 5,000 in a slow VFR descent down to 4,500. Right over uh, a military base just off our left wing there is uh, Campbell, Fort Campbell. And that's who we're talking to, Fort Campbell approach. So they were nice enough to really take our reroutes. So here we are. That A14 turn right, right turn heading 330. Approach to 330, and we can do the uh, GPS portion of the ILS at 23. We don't need the look at that building over there, babe. That A14, roger. By like closing up. I have to go farther to the left. I don't know if we're ever going to make it around. This keeps backfilling. It, we, can all, we can't even quite make it to Perryville. We'll see. I mean, the idea is that we're going to hook the right and go between these two. And it looks like, you know, there's like a 40, 50 mile gap. But we'll see. And 814, uh, center maintain 2,500. Down to 2,500, 814. We can stay VMC. 2771, Bravo Charlie, contact Memphis Center on 133.65. Good day, 3365. 3365, 1 Bravo Charlie, good day. Memphis Center, Twin 7771, Bravo Charlie is with you, VFR 4,500. 7771, Bravo Charlie, Memphis Center, Purdue Galaxy, 2992. 2992, thanks. So right now you can see on the iPad, we're in between these cells. We kept getting weather updates, talking to center. Sorry you guys didn't get to witness that. I was a moron and had the camera off. But we found this hole here that we're currently in. And we made sure we tested the hole. We had great VFR on the other side. There's some serious weather and it is very dark off the left. It's extreme weather echoes over there. But we found our way, we're going to Mike Whiskey Alpha Airport, that airport has good VFR, we have good VFR conditions in the hole here, and we're uh, just starting to turn more to the right just to uh, stay further ahead of this storm off our left. But uh, welcome back, and that's what we've been up to. And we did have to, the reason why we're not IFR is I don't like these embedded thunderstorms, so we're staying VMC down here to uh, be able to dodge them. Starting to get a little bit of bumps off this. Left approach, show me 20006 established to be our MA22 inbound. Army 20006, Army 20006, Like. Just visually out the window that we went in between. I think that gap was about 15 miles wide. Eight or 600. Foot. Number 771 Bravo Charlie. There, traffic not headed towards you, but out there uh, between two and three o'clock. Four miles maneuvering in the area. 4,000 feet. Type unknown. Altitude not verified. Number one Bravo Charlie, we're looking.
and some clouds are on top or whatever. So there's another VFR out here. We're not the only one. Two five one seven X-ray and pilot's discretion maintain the three thousand. Cameras. We ended up taking a much longer deviation than we thought uh, going pretty far west of Nashville before we could hook the corner, and then we got right between those two cells. Got north. We're able to stay VMC and avoid the and keep the cells in sight so that with air traffic radar and then our ABSB weather we felt comfortable and we had a couple outs so we took it and uh, we cruised over the top of the cater we were above the clouds for a while and then we just decided uh, we don't get to fly down low all that often and we enjoy it so we thought we would test it out and we dove down um, through a nice gap in the clouds back there. And now we're over top of Pontiac, and we're 21 minutes away from Aurora. The only problem with us diving down deep, diving down low is it's been fairly bumpy. Honestly, I just light chopped occasional light turbulence, I would say. What is your thoughts? Yeah, I'd, I'd say just light chop. Oh, you were napping during that one jolt of light I turbulence. I had... I had a 10 minute cat nap. And I stayed up here, plugged it. It That's was no, I, it was out of my hands at that point. Like it was it, it, totally involuntary. <laughs> Not your usual crawl in the back and lay down. That was nice. Yeah. But my head was, but like my nap looked like this. <laughs> I'm like dropping my head out of my hands. <laughs> Those are a light turbulence. And then I gave up. Uh, Alpha Alpha, Roger, clear to the visual approach to the Morris Airport. You can fly far this frequency if unable to end the ground through radio. Change your visor frequency approved. But I'm like 100% back now that I got hey, my Alpha, own map. No targets in the vicinity of the Morris Airport. Sir, Squawk VFR, you guys have a great let's day. Go. All right, let's see what we can do. Nine eight three. Our nav runway 27 approaching you, landing the parting runway 27. VFR. Provides direction of flight. Notice damage, runway 1836 close. Taxiway Charlie closed north of runway 927 and south of Taxiway Papa. ILS runway 33 localizer, unusable beyond 8 degrees right of runway center line. Taxiway Alpha between Taxiway Charlie and Taxiway Alpha 2 commissioned and changed to a movement area. Runway at 9 localizer, Alpha maintenance. Advise on initial contact to have information with you. Information of Whiskey 1652 Zulu weather, wind 280 at 11, visibility 10, ceiling 2500 broken, 3200 broken, 4000 broken, temperature 262.20, altimeter 29er A3. Who's in the nine eighty three? 83 is it? It's Whiskey, and the winds are uh, right down the runway pretty much for 27. My HSI had been working wonderfully well, even though I cracked the front screen. But just recently, it is now so sure, Kilo, Kilo, Chicago, Center, hanging Ponte, up Delta, and lagging. Or so we'll be just doing VFR stuff until I get, they already got. Supposedly, I got an appointment. They just haven't told me the date. They said they're going to get it in and out and done before Oshkosh, whatever that means. So hopefully that that'll get finished soon. But it is. Up the whole attic now. Sky approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you, 3000 VFR, Whiskey at Aurora. Okay, the Cessna, and you're going to have to say your numbers again. Andrea, say your numbers oh. again. Yeah, it's uh, 771, Bravo Charlie, we just got a handoff from uh, Chicago Center, we're down there by Morris. Oh, I see it now. 771 Bravo Charlie, Chicago for us. Midway altimeter is 2982. Just maintain VFR. 2982, we'll go there. There are one Bravo Charlie. Will you do me a favor and do an ELT check for me? Sure, coming up now. Never seen this done before. And uh, for one Bravo Charlie, we are getting the ELT, however we have to break squelch to get it, so it's a little bit weak in this area, but we are getting it continuous. More. Roger, and just verify the call sign is one Bravo Charlie. 
Yep, 771 Bravo Charlie, Cessna 310, going to Aurora. Thank you. Oh, it's hard to go to Aurora because my HSI is check. That's too funny. A little thick over there. Over there, but this is a really nice area here. Then approach one Bravo Charlie as the field in sight. And one Bravo Charlie, Roger. And uh, you can contact Aurora Tower 120.6. Switching to tower 120.6, we'll see you, bye. Yeah. Tower to Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's 11 miles to the south, inbound Whiskey, full stop. Over 771, Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, enter the uh, left downwind runway 27, report midfield. One Bravo Charlie, enter left downwind 27, report midfield. I need you to return your uh, seat back to the upright and locked position. And I mean to put my little armrest away. Oh, your armrest? No, it's fine. There's in the bottom. I can't take off and land with mine, but there's fine. Our lights on. Go ahead and turn fuel bumps on low. Fuel is on the main. We'll take care of the rest of the gumps here. About 19 inches tower now. Aurora Tower 5059 Charlie is 11 miles southeast of the field. Um, with... Uh, oh. And I'm to the to say, by your bus, Charlie. Tower to Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie is turning left downwind, runway 27. Two Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, runway 27, clear to land, wind 290 at 7. 1 Bravo Charlie, clear to land, 27. Cessna 5059 Air Charlie, Aurora Tower, into the left downwind, runway 27, report midfield. Look, it's frozen now, won't even turn. And that's a perfect time to land, huh? Cessna so 5 9 Charlie, correct. Just and, uh, straight up, broken. Make a straight in runway 27 for 42 miles out. Straight in 27, 4 miles out, uh, 5059 Charlie. And then uh, 59 Charlie, I dead, please. There we go. 10 degrees of flaps and the gear. Got three in the green. Five down 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 in the I mean, even in the pattern, I just use this thing for so much, it's so crazy. <laughs> I got some glass got in there, like, sucked the wheel up. But, obviously we can see everything. Base, clear to land. Three with three, Lima Sierra number two, following uh, Twin Cessna on a uh, two mile final for runway 27. Number two, following Twin Cessna, uh, runway 27, uh, 133, Lima Sierra. Traffic in sight, 133, Lima Sierra. Three with three, Lima Sierra number two, following that traffic, wind 2907. Number two, following traffic, uh, runway 27, 133, Lima Sierra. Correction, uh, Remo 3, Lima Sierra, wind 
Number two following that traffic, runway 27, clear to land. Number All two right. following traffic, uh, runway 27, uh, clear to land. 123, Lima Sierra. That's our 123, Lima Sierra. Can we get another low approach on this one? Here's 3 Lima Sierra, runway 27, clear to low approach. And uh, be advised, the uh, tra twin Cessna ahead of you is going to be a full stop. Clear low approach, we'll get plenty of space, 3 Lima Sierra. Aurora Tower, Scott 672 Mike Alpha is nine and a half miles to the southeast with information X ray about to land. 272 Mike Alpha, Aurora Tower, Iden. Over to Mike Alpha, I didn't receive that to the indicates 2300. It's going to be following uh, Cessna at 12 o'clock, two oh, miles northbound uh, Cessna. Following Cessna, 12 o'clock, 672 Mike Alpha. Twin Cessna, one Bravo Charlie, turn left, runway 15, left on Alpha, contact ground point seven. One Bravo Charlie, left and left, ground point seven. Made it, babe. What do we, what do we have planned for flying next? I don't uh, even know. Yes, I mean, we want to go to Oshkosh for a day. Oh yeah, Oshkosh is next. I guess there's nothing officially. We'll just do something else spontaneous.